and welcome back to another video. So before you go to the comment section and it's like, oh my god, this is so clickbait, you just want the nice juicy clicks from uh, having um, best Switch accessory in your thumbnail and title and this is like, wait a minute, let me explain why, at least in my opinion, this is the best Nintendo Switch accessory that you can buy right now. Um, and if I remember, there will be a link in the description. And if I forget, um, feel free to remind me in the comment section below. Then I'll look, have it in a pin the comment. Um, but essentially, um, uh, why? Well, here's what here's what in my opinion, a console or handheld accessory should do it should in some way solve a uh, exist a problem that exists with the uh, you know console or handheld that it is made for um, or at least adds something to the device so off the top of my head um, the plastic accessories for the Wii remote in my opinion were bad the accessories because they didn't really add anything that uh, really um except for maybe uh, um you could use the baseball bat uh plastic shell to bludgeon someone to death death with maybe i've not tried it myself um but you, know, you might be able to do that who knows um but um let me think, a good accessory, oh, um, I can't remember what it was called, but uh, there was this um, accessory for the Game Boy that gave it like a light, um, so they can th see the screen better. That, wa that was um, targeting a pre-existing problem with the, ha with the Game Boy and solving that problem. Um, an accessory that uh, is fairly pop, that has uh, been like, on like almost every console at this point and uh, uh, doesn't really solve a pre-existing problem but uh, adds to the console itself is like a screen for the console so there was um, off the top of my head I know there was a screen for the PlayStation 1 there was a screen for the GameCube off the top of my head I know those two and uh, they're not solving a pre-existing problem with them, with them because it's just like having a screen for them is not really a problem um, but it's just like adding to it, it's just like, okay, now I'm not stuck to the TV, I can, um, you know, take, I can play this wherever I've got uh, a power in the for my PlayStation or my GameCube, and then it's like, and then it turns into more like a uh, laptop kind of thing. Um, so, um, this is why I think this accessory is, um, the best switch accessory. It may not be the flashiest, it may not be the most eye-catching accessory, but I believe it does solve the main problem with the Nintendo Switch, um, at least in my opinion. Um, and it is this little accessory here. So this is a clip for the Nintendo Switch. Basically, you put your controller here, your Nintendo Switch here, and then you can play on your Nintendo Switch in um, handheld mode, in handheld handheld mode, with your controller, um, and you have these little a button here and a button here to adjust the angle, and to adjust that angle, um, and it's all very nice. Um, so let me just grab my Nintendo Switch real quick. It just slide in there and it holds onto it really nice and firmly oh. like this is barely moving at all like I don't know if you can hear it but it is jostling a little bit but it is not gonna move okay now before I now I, uh, so yeah it holds on to the switch really well so you're not going to be worried about it just sliding out and smashing on the floor um which is the 
which is really good because you don't want your switch falling off and smashing on the floor like um if i just grab this real quick uh a while back i made a video basically um saying that you could get um some velcro strips and one of these and have a basic clip for this because i don't because uh when i back then when i looked for a clip like this i could not find this uh i don't know if it was around back then and i just couldn't find it for whatever reason or if it if, or if it just wasn't on amazon but i could not find a switch clip and yeah this is much better than uh that but uh i didn't well, I, I personally do not own an official Nintendo Switch Pro controller. I do own uh, four controllers that I will be testing out in this clip here today to see how well they work. So, the first one I'm going to try out is my personal favorite Nintendo Switch controller, which I have actually done a uh, review on this channel. I believe it was called like the best uh, Nintendo Switch controller. And when I initially bought this, I was very skeptical of it because it's like, oh, it's got gyro, it's got um, amiibo function, and it does. Uh, and yeah, and it also turns on the switch uh, by pressing and holding the home button. Uh, there we go. Which not many controllers do for some reason. Um, but yeah, uh, I can put this in here. So you put put it in top end first and then you just push it down on the clip and it's in and there you've got it's really simple and easy not going to come out um now with this specific controller because how the buttons are laid out is it it is a little bit difficult to hit the uh plus and minus buttons but it's not impossible um and what's also neat about this is if I can get this in view of the camera, on the there's a hole on the bottom so you can charge up your switch. And then there's a hole there so you can charge up your controller while you play in handheld mode. So yeah. Uh if you wanna if you prefer playing in handheld mode when you're at, even if you're at home, then this is really good because it's just like okay plug the charger in there plug the charger in there uh you are going to need two um power sockets for this but yeah pretty nice uh to have that but yeah uh fairly co mm, voice crack there fairly comfortable to hold um my only real gripe of holding it is that um my fingers are touching these bits here but and they that and this bit here is a little bit in the way, but it's not the end of the world. Um, but yeah. Um, but if you don't want, if you don't have this controller, or don't want to use this controller. Uh, say you prefer the PlayStation layout to uh, controller layout. Um, so that uh, um, you know because you prefer playing games that work better with the PlayStation layout. So you bought yourself an SM30 Pro Plus or just SM30 Pro. I got mine right here. I believe they've actually released a, uh, another one of these. Now this will not work because it is way too skinny, unfortunately. Um, I mean, is that, it does like fit in so you could, but it's not very secure. I mean, what you could probably do, uh, if you wanted to, is get a bunch of blue tack, and then just smush a bunch of blue tack in there to hold it in. So I like, have it like this, and then just like smush a bunch of blue tack on the bottom to just like secure it. Um, but yeah, this could be seen as a downside that it's too big for an SM30 Pro Plus. Or that could be more of a condem condemnation of the SM30 Pro Plus itself for it being way too skinny. Who knows? Um, feel free to debate that in the comments section below. Um, uh, but what if it's like, oh, I don't like any of those controllers. I want to use my Xbox One controller. 
Well, you just slap it in there. And it, it fits amazingly well. The Xbox button is perfectly accessible there, right there. This surprisingly does work with the Xbox One controller. And then um, I believe 8-bit Do have a um, thingies you can stick into the bottom of the Switch to make it uh, able to connect to Xbox One controllers. Uh, so if you like your Xbox One controller, you probably already have that. But yeah, you have the Xbox One controller there. Um, and if you have like any, uh, uh, let's see, what sort of controllers do I have here? I believe I should have an Xbox 360, yeah, there it is. I have an Xbox 360 controller here. It is wired, so it's gonna, I'm gonna need to undo the wire, so this is gonna take a minute. Yeah, just, and then, can I squeeze, all right, oh, hold on, maybe, yeah, there we go. Get the wire through there. There you go. This is a bit tangled up. So all of 360 controller work in this. So push that down in there. And yep, 360 controller works. It's a little bit loose, but it works. The all of the face buttons are accessible. The shitty D-pad is still shitty though. I love the 360 controller, it is my second favourite controller of, of all time. Fuck the D-pad though. Um, yeah, if you want to use your 360 controller, you can. On your Switch with this. Uh, I don't think you're going to have access to the bottom, yeah, you're not going to have access to the, um, to these bottom ports here these ones here so you're not going to be able to use your headset microphone with it oh sorry baba did i bonk your noggin but yeah you didn't bonk me hard enough to m for me to even flinch but you still bonked my noggin oh poor baba you want a kiss kiss i can't wait i can't bend down that far to give you a kiss kiss then so now nah, i'm just gonna lay here right Uh, oh, yeah, that's fine. I'll sort it out in a minute. Um, so yeah, and because of, and you're not going to be able to like use your uh, Nintendo and Super Nintendo controllers with it, but I mean, who really would come into this expecting you could? Um, one last controller, um, just this one that I recently bought. This is a little bit slimmer than uh, the first controller, so I don't think it's going to fit. Yeah, ah, so it's a little bit slimmer, but uh, it, it's a little bit slimmer, you know, just like down here, but it is a little bit fatter, I think. Yeah, it's a bit fatter, so yeah, you, but again, you can probably just like fill this in with blue tack. Um, but then the plus and minus buttons are going to be completely covered, so it doesn't work with this controller. Um, but I've not done a review on this controller, this is just a controller that I bought uh, because my um, first one of these, the red thumbstick, keeps getting stuck now. So uh, I wanted to buy a new one, but they were out of stock when I wanted to buy a new one, so I just bought that as a temporary one. So, um, what uh, you know, problems does this solve with the Switch and the dirt, or what does it add? So, the problem that it solves with the Switch, in my opinion, uh, is these, the Joy-Cons. Um, now, uh, a lot of people complain about the Joy-Cons for a couple of reasons. Firstly, Joy-Con drift is a thing, and, um, 
if you're unlucky, you can end up going through a lot of Joy-Cons very fast. Um, uh, I thankfully not really had a uh, lot of trouble with Joy-Cons Rifter. This is my second pair of Joy-Cons, and so, yeah, um, I've been quite lucky, uh, really, with it, but, um, you know, people can be really unlucky. So, um, it fixes the problems, like, if you buy a pro controller or a third party controller, you're not going to have problems with it drifting, um, really. Well, you shouldn't do, um, unless uh, you're using a PlayStation 5 controller, which uses the exact same thumbsticks as a Nintendo Switch, for some reason. Um, at least with the Switch, you can sort of excuse it by, oh, they needed the smallest thumbsticks to keep the Joy-Cons compact. But it's like, why would, why did they go with such rubbish thumbsticks in the PlayStation 5 controller? Anyway. Um, and then uh, the other thing uh, that people complain with uh, the Joy-Cons is, is that when you're playing on them with the Switch, you, your hands get cramped a lot. Um... Now, right now, there's not really many solutions to those two problems. Uh, the first, the solution to the first problem was just like um, Joy-Con drift. It's just like you probably do have these uh, um, special um, Joy-Cons, which if I can get up on Amazon real quick, I'll give, I'll show you. Um, whom was recommending me a Sonic one? Amazon was recommending recommending me a Sonic pair the other day. Hold on, oh, Ho I Split Pad Pro they're called. Um, and they do have a uh, cool d some cool designs like the Pikachu one, the Legends Arceus one. Uh, oh, I've not seen the Mon Monster Hunter one. Yeah, that looks fine. I'm a big Monster Hunter. Yeah, anyway. And you got like red and blue and grey. And so if you look at them, so these basically address the problem of Joy-Con drift and it, uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, ah, words. The cramping and cramps. Uh, and on the back, they also have an extra button on each um, pad that you can assign to any button uh, that you want. Um, now, the opposite of this is that you get an extra button which, is, which can be useful. Um, the downside is that um, they, they're not wireless. If you want to use them, they have to be connected to the Switch itself. Now, they are going to release a um, accessory to the accessory to solve that problem but yeah and also the right now these are 32 pounds on sale they're usually 36 pounds 75 pence um so they're like 30 odd quid so they're not cheap already then you want us to buy another accessory on top of that which yeah that is starting to get a little bit expensive where uh, just buying the pro controller mount clip for the nintendo switch uh, is only nine pounds eighty less than a third of the cost and you don't need a um an accessory for it like you can just use the pro controller that you probably already have if you uh, are playing at home um and it, actually let me just uh I, i'll check that in a moment but i want to see if you can actually use the um joy con grip with this uh if you want to use that as well um it's just like yeah that is a lot cheaper and it uh, um, you know, more versatile. Um, then there is the Satisfy Nintendo Switch Grip, which is even more expensive. 
being 51 quid 91 pence. Uh, you can't really see that because my camera refuses to focus. I should get a better webcam at some point. Anyway, um, which is more expensive, but you can use it with your Joy-Con. So, but this is only addressing the hand cramp uh, issue. This doesn't address Joy-Con drift because you're still using the same base Joy-Cons that come with the Nintendo Switch, which can drift. So, I think this is the best way to solve the the best way to solve both for the hand cramping issue and the, the joy-con drift issue because um even if you have to buy a pro controller or um this controller that i did a review of you still have this controller um to use uh when you're in docked mode, unlike the um, the Hori uh, Pro Pad, I believe it was called. Yeah, uh, Hori Split Pad Pro. So, and unlike the Satisfied Gaming Grip, it does address the issue of Joy-Con drift. And also, the uh, another thing with the uh, Satisfied Gaming Grip is that. Uh, you can't have the switch docked uh, with it, which you have to slide out. And uh, same with this, to be honest. But yeah, uh, neither of them are really a big issue. But um, there we go. Yeah. Um, also, something I just noticed is that it has this little bump on the back there, which lines up with the bump the indent on the Nintendo Switch, which is another layer which keeps it all secure, which is what keeps it secure. Um, I just noticed that. Um, I mean, if you... And like I said, this isn't the flashiest um, accessory. Like, if you wanted... Uh, um, if you want a... something that to... Uh, uh, solve the hand cramping issue while looking um, really good. The Hori Split Pad Pro is a really good one and they do have some really good designs admittedly like the Legends Arceus one here that I'm, that I'm about to show off. Yeah, there you go. You got Legend, the Legends Arceus design, which I do really like, and I did consider getting it um, before I found out this was a thing. But it's just like, um, but then you're stuck with those with those controllers in handheld mode, and you can't use them in docked mode. And again, these are quite expensive, being these ones are specifically are fifty four ninety five. So it's just like, yeah, this, yeah, they are kind of expensive. Um, and again, the upside uh, with get, getting this instead of the Satisfied Gaming Grip is that the Satisfied Gaming Grip does not fix the Joy-Con drift issues, which, you know, is fair, which, depending on your look, can be really annoying um yeah there's just one more thing i want to check real quick and that to see if that if this is where if it works with the um oh the joy con grip if i can find that real quick uh hmm uh let's see let's see let's see In here, yep. hmm. Ah, here it is. 
Might as well use my old joy cons with this because it'll make you look cool. So here I have uh, well, my pillow and my Joy-Con grip. Let's see if this works with this. I doubt it because it's very skinny. So I doubt it'll work. Oh, yeah, no, it's, ve it's too skinny, too long, definitely not going to work. So you can't use your Joy-Cons with this. I mean, at that point, if you just want to use your Joy-Cons with your Switch, just get a satisfied gaming grip. But if you want a rep something to replace your uh, Joy-Cons because they keep drifting on you, and you wanna, and you don't wanna fork out to, um, fifty odd quid uh, for controllers that only work in the handheld mode, and uh, you wanna be able to, and you like, say you like the um, Xbox One controller or. SM3 Pro with blue tech stuck to it if you want to do that then this is your probably the best uh, you're gonna get because yeah it's versatile it's st it, like again this switch is going nowhere um, and yeah and it's just like steady like it doesn't bend um, so yeah uh, there's only one real problem that uh, I have with this, and it is that uh, when I'm, which is something you probably wouldn't um, even think about, is that when you're playing like this, even though the switch is not that heavy, if you hold it uh, like at an angle like this, you actually do feel like the weight of the switch. So it can sometimes be a little bit distracting when you're just like, uh, I'm just resting my hands here. Oh, hmm, that's kind of. Because it, the switch's weight is like leaning over the edge there, it is noticeable, surprisingly. Um, which you wouldn't really think it would be noticeable, but it is. Um, you can actually feel the weight of the switch uh, pushing, you know, the handles of the controller. Um, you can, you wouldn't say if you're holding it like that, you can actually feel the switch pushing the handles of the controller into your hands because. Yeah, and I think the reason why it feels heavier than you'd expect is because of probably leverage. Like, probably because of the angle that it's at, it's got like the right leverage to just feel heavier than it uh, than you'd think it would. Um, I don't know. But that's not really a con much of a condem condemnation that a system that is fairly light feels a little bit heavier if you feels a bit heavier when you hold it at an angle um yeah uh i would definitely recommend this to anyone who uh, wants to play in handheld mode but doesn't like joy cons doesn't want to get the split pad pros because they're too expensive and only work in handheld mode and it, uh, uh, don't want to get the satisfied gaming grip because you know it doesn't really solve the issue of Joy-Con drift, and you like your whatever controller you are using at the time, uh, at this current time. And again, uh, if you have the um, accessory, the Apido accessory that allows you to play your Xbox and PlayStation. I don't have a PlayStation controller with me, but if you want to play your Xbox and PlayStation controller controllers with it then you can um one controller i'm 99 percent sure that won't work is that i've not addressed here is the gamecube controller and yeah just looking at it hmm i can't really tell just by looking at it but i'm just gonna test it real quick see because there's probably gonna be people in the comments i want to know because and I don't blame them. The, the GameCube controller is my favorite controller, so if I could use my GameCube con a GameCube really shape controller with this, then I would be a happy chappy. But I doubt it very much. 
So maybe if I get that one there. Nope. Ah, uh, now nah, the bulge on the bottom is too much. Like, actually, I do have. It does this have? The, yeah, this does have the bulge on the bottom. So, if you have a GameCube shaped controller that does not have the bulge on the bottom, and if you want to know exactly what I'm talking about, is this part here, this bulge here, this bulge here is keeping it from going in. But if that bulge wasn't there then maybe it might fit but it's hard to tell because the bulge is keeping me from the, uh, maybe if i flip it the other way around then i might get a better idea of if it can yeah mm. is it a little bit thick to go through there so maybe not um again if uh if you do have a controller like that, you could do some testing yourself or, yeah, so yeah. Um, yeah, like I said, may not be the flashiest or most eye-catching Nintendo Switch accessory, but in my opinion, it is the best because it just addresses two, in my opinion, major problems with the Nintendo, playing with, on, with the Nintendo Switch in handheld mode, and it's cheap, and is versatile and it uh, um yeah is pretty much perfect it's sturdy it holds like seriously i'm jiggling as much as i can this thing's not coming loose i mean the hinges are probably probably are gonna come loose uh, which is why I probably wouldn't recommend shaking this around too much. But, yeah. If you want to need a solution to any of these problems, uh, or uh, definitely check this out in the description below. Um, but, yeah. Other than that, I hope you guys all did enjoy this uh, video. It's not a live stream. I usually do live streams. Um, but, yeah, I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. Um, if you want me to uh, take a look at any other um, handheld, uh, not handheld, any other um, accessory uh, accessories, definitely um, let me na know down in the comment section below. And if you uh, can, leave a link to um, where I can uh, get on like Amazon or wherever, and I'll definitely uh, have a look at them and see and think about. Um, Doing a video on them, see, you know, thinking, you know, if they, if it's worth doing a video on them. Uh, but yeah, uh, and if you're interested in where is it, that controller that was that I used mainly mo most of the time for demonstrating, um, there is you can go to my channel and just look and uh, search up uh, the best Nintendo Switch controller. And I hope to see you guys in my next video or live stream or whatever, whatever I decide to do. And bye bye. Thank you.